Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting tutorial series. In this series, we will learn how we can build a WordPress plugin using Vue.js with the help of WordPress REST API. In Vue.js, we will also be using Vue Router to manage our routing and Vuex to manage our data as well. So let's get started. Before into the coding, let me show you what exactly we are going to build first. So this is the menu and if we go there this will be our product outcome so there as you can see there is a uh, two menus one is kick start another is settings so we are right now on the kick start menu where there is another tab menu as you can see general and another tab so if you notice here this routing is changing and page is not loading so we are also managing our uh, URLs with the view router and there is a form what we can actually submit so if we can if we hit save settings so it will save data let's change our data for some reason let's say chain and if we click on save settings it will save the data to verify it if we just hard reload it the data should be shown here as well so this is this is everything is happening with the uh, Vue.js and Vuex we are managing our data with the Vuex and using rest api wordpress rest api behind the scene so we can also go to go to this settings page which is also managing by the view router as well so this is very interesting we can switch the uh, switch uh, between the pages with no page refresh just a blink of an eye and even uh, we are managing uh, multi routes if we can say that in the kick start we are actually using another tab which is also maintaining the routes so this will be our final product when we finish our coding so let's code now okay so this is actually our folder structure that i have already managed to uh, create because i want to save some times so let's quickly explain our folder structure first so we do have a api folder where we will be storing our all uh, custom wordpress rest apis that we are gonna build so inside there there's a folder admin by which we are meaning that uh, this folder will be managing the admin sites uh, stuffs through this rest api so there we, uh, we have another file which is totally empty now this is settings route which actually will be uh, uh, managing our settings route that we are going to save from the form and there is another file that is api.php which is also blank so we will be we will initiate some things some stuffs into this api.php finally and then we have a assets folder where actually uh, we have three folders css js and sas we are going to use sas which will compile into the css by using uh, finally we will be using actually laravel mix so in the sas folder we have three files and i already put some css which is really straightforward so i do not want to waste any time by writing this uh, CSS or SAS things so these are already written okay so we do not need to worry about that and then we have includes folder where uh, we have two files uh, two class actually we will be creating one is admin.php and another is frontend.php and then we will have a source folder where actually every uh, Vue.js thing will be held here and also there uh, we have admin and frontend so in the admin we have admin.js and frontend there is frontend.js which will actually be the main files from the admin end as well as from the frontend and then we have a vendor folder and I forgot to mention we will be uh, using uh, php composer to install the php packages if needed and we are going to use psr4 coding standard so for that we we do need uh, uh, we do need to have this uh, uh, what whatever you can say vendor folder 
and if you do not know how you can use this PSR4 and this class and stuffs into this WordPress plugin, you can watch my some of my previous videos where I have shown how we can create a plugin by using PHP Composer and PSR4 and uh, uh, get started with it. So you can check that out. The link will be into the upper right corner of this video. All right. So then uh, what we have, uh, we have a uh, package.json of course we have a composer.json because we are going to use that uh, php composer things so here we uh, these are the basic stuffs that we i might guess we you already know and we are using as i said psr4 and there is some uh, 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 namespacing things that we have defined for the admin folder we, we will be using like this namespacing and front end includes and for api and then we have a package.json of course so it is already pre-built so that i can save some of your time so there is three scripts one is for dev another is for watch and another is for production so we are using uh because we are using mixin so that and that is why uh we have initialized we need to initialize this web pack.js from the node modules okay and we flagged it with the progress uh, flag and hide modules and config configured our uh, uh, web webpack from the uh, webpack.config.js from the laravel mix all right so we have two packages which are actually the dependencies view and view router and we have bunch of packages that are actually uh, dependencies so uh, we need to uh, run this with the npm install in order to install all these things also we are using babel to uh, render our modern scripts into the uh, browser readable javascript so we are going to use this babel rc which is kind of blank now but we will be filled up if we need some all right so uh, let's do one thing first let's uh, open our command line and npm install so that every package should install as we need it might take some time because there are a lot of packages so we'll be get back when it's done all right so as you can see our all packages node packages has been installed successfully and there is a node modules folder as well so so far uh, let's go back uh, to the backend and into the plugins now if we, uh, we we can see there is a plugin and these uh, descriptions and the links so those are actually coming from this plugin.php as we all know and i actually already filled up this plugin.php which we will be uh, yes, yes, we will be learning or will be uh, understand into the next episode so in this episode let's uh, uh, click on this for this episode let's just click on this activate link and hope for no errors okay so let's click on activate and hopefully there will be no errors yes so that means we are good in our uh, what we can say this uh, uh, node.js installation and this composer things so into the next video we will be start from this plugin.php and start building our apis so see you in the next video.